guys, welcome back and thanks for taking the time to join me. Um, I'm going to tie you a wee fly called the uh, Thai Shrimp. i just been sitting tan it this morning and that's it there with a fire orange head. Using the fire, the fire orange thread and that's it with the, the red head. So bring these into the camera so you can see them. So we're just going to tie this one with the, the short, chartreuse head. Just a wee bit of fun. Now the hook in the vase is a Partridge Patriot double in size 10 and black nickel. The thread we're going to use to tie the fly is uni thread, Edo and chartreuse, like I said at the start. So I'm just going to come in and we'll get the chartreuse thread started at the uh, the hook, run on a couple of mil and remove the, the waist tag of thread. The tag at the back is going to be an oval silver tinsel in size 14 so I'm just going to catch that in and we get rid of this waste bit of thread in my hand and then I'm just going to work this down until my thread sort of in line with the points or slightly past the, the points of the hooks then I'm going to come around with four turns of the oval silver tinsel and on the last turn bring it up and in between the, the two hooks I'm just going to secure that in. I'm going to use wire for the rear body, so I'm just going to come in and trim the excess of that away. The tail is red bucktail. I'm going to pinch off here just to get us started. Now, the length of this is entirely up to you two. I usually like it around about a length and a half to two lengths of the hook over the back. Then I'll come in and trim that away in a bit of a tapered cut. I'm going to put some flesh into the tail and this is just the, the red mirror flesh. So I'm just looking two strands of this. Trim that away. And you can just offer this up until your until your tail. Just hold it on the hook. Around with a pinching loop, a couple of turns, want to fold the excess back, a couple of turns over the top, come in and trim away the, the excess. Now that flash is just a wee bit too long, so I'm just going to come in and too long for me anyway, so I'm just going to clip that away, then just take this opportunity to tidy up the, the cut ends of the bucktail. the way back down we're going to catch in our rib for rear body and this is just a silver wire just because it's a holographic tinsel that I'm using on the, the rear body just think the wire lasts a wee bit longer so I'm just going to catch that in and come in and hold my tail I just want to bring my thread down tight up against the tag not onto the tag, just tied up against it. Secures everything in. The rear body. It's going to be a large holographic silver tinsel. Just going to length that off. Now you could change it up. You could have the rear body as a uh, Opal Mirage or gold, red, guys, whatever, whatever color you like. Or whatever materials you have, the, the fly will still work. As long as you have confidence in it. Now, just taking a turn of the holographic and I want a nice clean turn onto the tail. And then just overlapping turns of the silver holographic up the first part of the body. Follow that around with our thread. A couple of turns will secure that in. Come in and trim away the excess. And then we'll just bring up our silver tinsel. We're looking three turns up the body to protect the tinsel. Follow that around with our thread. A couple of turns will secure that in. Come in and bend and break away the wire. Now the mid haggle is going to be this. This is basically what you call a black lace cape from waiting or as I would know, always have known them by is waiting lace wing. I'll show, you, I'll show you the two. I'll show you the, cape, the two capes. So the front uh, mid haggle 
It is going to be this. Oh, get the other one over, and then the front one is blue. So you can see the the capes here. The good, good capes. Waiting always produces good capes. So, but they're basically all they are is just reverse, reverse bodger haggles. Uh, I know everybody's not in the bodger haggles. I know there's a couple of boys that I fish with that don't like the bodger haggles at all. So. I'll not like these. <laughs> anyway, we'll catch him in, come in, bring away the tip. And then we're just going to fold these fibers back on the hook and come round with one turn in front of the other. Now the turns of haggle are up to you. Rule of thumb when your tennis shrimp pattern is usually anywhere between two and three turns. But like I say, we all like to dress flies differently. And that's what makes this game good, because you learn different things, you pick up different wee tan techniques from people. Now, I was going to do me there, so I'm going to follow this around with my thread. Nice and tight. Now, I'm just going to come in and just take away the excess off the, the stem of the haggle, because I want to tie the stem up the body. For two reasons. The front body's floss, so I want to try and keep it as level as I can. And the second reason is just to strengthen the fly. Now you just come in, push your thread out of the way, trim away your haggle. And on the way back down, the rib for the front body is going to be a silver, oval silver tinsel. Same oval silver tinsel we'll use for the tag, size 14. So we'll just catch that in. Right. Just come in, fold everything back. You want to bring your thread down tight up against your haggle, not on to it, just tight up against it. The body, uni floss and black. Get a wee length here, so off. Now, them, these black lace wings, they come in a wide wide range of colours and they're good capes to have in your box would be my view but at the same time they're they're not cheap now I'm just going to come round just a wee fibre there just want it to stay back just going to come round and get a nice turn going just at the mid haggle not on to the haggle just at it just tied up against it and then just overlapping turns of our floss up the rear body. Follow this around with our thread. A couple of tight turns will catch that in. Come in and trim away the excess. Then we can bring up our rib. And you're looking three three turns. Be favour there. Don't know if you can see that guys there's just a wee favour here. So we'll take that away. Three turns of the oval silver tinsel up the body to there. Follow that around a couple of turns. Faber still works, doing my boxing. Or does there? Got it now. And then trim away the oval silver tinsel. And we favors to get to me. <laughs> now, just going to run the thread on down, back up. The front tackle is the blue. And you can see that you get the the colour in the main part of the the, the feather here. Then you have the black, and then you've got the, the blue tips. They're a lovely haggle. They are. Um, I have a chartreuse one there somewhere, and a yellow one. I'll, I'll try and hook those out at some stage now. I'm just going to come in and catch in the tip. Fold the tip back. Bring my thread up over the tip. And the haggle, come and locate the tip, you break it away, and then just stroke these back and do one turn in front of the other. Now I'm only going to put two turns in at the front, so that's all I'm going to need. You put in what you think you need, two's going to be enough there for me. Follow this around with her thread, a couple of tight turns now, stem. On, the, on these can be pretty thick, so I'm just going to come in and 
take away the remainder of the haggle rather than folding it back and then we'll just tighten up with our thread nice and tight and there you can see now I'm going to put you on a little cock one but see the balance we you probably don't need to that's a good wee fly good wee pattern in itself so I'm just two eyes here I'm waiting on a couple of jungle cock capes coming so I'm running low so got the two eyes just gonna stroke those back offer these up to the hook just gonna hold them on the hook and I just come round with these are just loose turns no tension in this thread at all when I put on the jungle cock it's just to hold them in place just to see the length right. check this side ok and that looks 110% then we can tighten up with a couple of turns then we can come in and just fold back the jungle cock right. if you fold these back and you tie up over the top of them like the way I'm doing here it just means to say that they have to break off, they can't pull out and the last thing you want breaking off or sorry, pulling out is jungle cock because guys, yeah, it's, it's not cheap now I'm just going to keep my tension on my thread just break away the, the stems come straight in with your whip finishing tool forget about everything else, don't worry just come in and knock on a whip finish, nice and tight Pull the thread nice and tight, come in from away the tying thread. There you go. So that's it tied, just just the same fly, it's just tied up with a chartreuse thread and then just to seal up the head, we coat of super glue. Right the whole way right round. Now you don't want this getting into your your haggle, so just take your time with the super glue if you're using it. Then I'll come in and hit that with a couple of coats of varnish just to seal up the head. So that's it tied with the chartreuse thread. That's the other ones there tied with the far orange and with the red. And you can tie it with black thread. It doesn't matter. It's just to show you. So look guys, tie a few of those up. Hopefully they can catch you a few fish bring you a few nice salmon to the bank which gives you I know it gives me every la lost in memories uh, when you think back but look enough of me jibbering on tie a few up hopefully you can catch a few fish as always many thanks for taking the time to view the videos I really do appreciate it thank you because I know people are busy and until next time guys please stay safe and tie lines